Missouri has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the country, but the state's top politician wants to change that. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Marissa Holloway. And I'm Lucas Geisler. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon joins us live after looking into the reality of pregnancy-related health issues in the state. Hannah, a recent report shows 61 women in Missouri die each year while pregnant. Lucas, Marissa, because of that high rate of pregnancy-related deaths, the governor proposes a plan be made by the health department to combat this number. One mother I spoke with today knows the realities of pregnancy-related health problems firsthand. I didn't realize how close I was to dying, that I was so close to dying until she said, I'm so glad you're here. You almost weren't. Columbia City Councilwoman Andrea Wayner is one of thousands of women across Missouri who experience life-threatening issues during pregnancy. An emergency C-section saved the lives of her and her baby. She said, in this hospital, we don't risk moms. And she goes, we're going to have your baby today and we're gonna take care of her. And I said, okay. According to the Department of Health and Senior Services, 61 women each year do not get as lucky as Wayner. We refuse to accept this tragic Missouri statistic. We must do better. If we can't get it right for the mothers and children across our state, we might as well pack our bags and let somebody else occupy these seats. Let's support our mothers, let's support our children. Let's support the future of Missouri. My first reaction was it's about damn time. Governor Mike Parson is requesting 4.3 million in state funding go toward developing a plan to reduce a maternal mortality. It's actually gonna take a, a variety of approaches uh, to be able to meet the needs of those moms who need, because of where they live, because of their economic or social situation, because of, um, you know, they're, maybe they've got a disease background. All of these things need to be taken into consideration. I was relieved to see that somebody in power was finally saying this is an issue that we're going to care about. And at the same time, $4 million for a program for something that is um, impacting so many women in our state uh, feels dismal. When Governor Parson announced this plan during his State of the State address yesterday, he received applause from both Democrats and Republicans. Reporting live in Columbia, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. And uh, several bills have already been introduced on this issue. A hearing was held yesterday for one that would extend Medicaid benefits for one year after pregnancy.